Alright guys, welcome back. Aren't y'all lucky? Another shade video. Actually, if you're a thing like me, you're thinking, why in the world is this guy still putting out shade videos? But, here we are. Let me zoom this out just a little bit. Hang on just a second. Wrong way. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so today being Wednesday, we've got um, Williams Wednesday. So as you can see here, I've got my pack of Williams right here. And we're going to go and get started. I've just gotten out of the shower. Face is good and hydrated. Got our brush. It's been soaking some water. We're going to go ahead and we're going to wring that out. And we're going to start to build up the lather here. And I want this brush almost as dry as I can get it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, there we go. Splay it out just a little bit. Let the bristles come up. There's a little bit of water in there, which I can still see, but that's not a problem. We're going to start building our, we're going to start uh, loading the brush. Hope you guys have had a good day. Hope you're having a good week. Mine's been pretty good so far. Uh, my wife's grandmother, so I guess it makes it my grandmother-in-law, maybe? I don't exactly know how that works. Anyway, uh, she's moved down here to the uh, area that we're in, to a uh, retirement home. So I've been working on that most of the weekend getting all her stuff moved in and, and taken care of, so. All right, so we've got a decent load of the brush. may not be enough, but we'll find out here in just a minute. This brush has shed quite a bit. Uh, this is one of the uh, bevel brushes. It was touted as being uh, you know, awesome in their shave system and things like that. I found them on clearance at Target. I think they were getting rid of them, so. But we'll give it a shot and see what happens. All right, we've got that brush good and loaded up there. Take this extra on the face. There we go. All right, we're going to build our lather. Um, so it's been super, super hot down here. I mean, we're talking like triple digit heat with um, humidity as well. This is the kind of hot where when you walk outside, the hot just sticks to you. Doesn't matter what you do, it just, it just sticks. You immediately start sweating like the IRS trying to get a confession out of you. And it's just bad all day long. So, definitely looking forward to, uh, to winter being here. Plus, when winter comes, it means it's close to hunting season and I like more hunting. So, it's always a blast for me anyway. There we go. That's looking decent so far. Since you guys see this, this is live. I don't ever edit any of my videos for two reasons. Number one, I want to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And number two, I'm too, I'm too stupid to figure out how to edit videos. So we just roll everything live. No cuts, no breaks, nothing like that. I'm sure maybe I did do some editing and some video, some videography and stuff like that. I had more subscribers, but you know what? That ain't me, and I'm not about subscriptions. I do this because this is the kind of video that I would want to put out, that I would want to see. It's the content I want to see, and so that's what we're going to do. Um, make videos for other people, then... You're always at their mercy for what they like and what they don't like. So that's why I try to do videos that I would want to see, that I would want to watch. Make them for me, make myself happy that way. Just need a little bit more water. There we go, that's looking good so far there. Yeah, need a little bit more water there. Yeah, just a hair bit more. So what's you guys' signature shave? What, uh, what products do you guys use almost exclusively? Or if you could only use one, what would it be? Feel free to uh, post it down in the comments. I'd love to hear what all you guys say. There we go. Just getting that lather getting built up here. In the meantime, if you guys haven't, I highly recommend that you check out our form that we have. Uh, 
You like this single edge stuff? It's a wealth of knowledge over there. All right, bevel brush. Is it worth 40 bucks? No. I could get the same thing out of my Perfecto Badger. It cost me $7 on Amazon. <coughs> so you tell me. To me, it's not worth it, but you might like it, and your mileage may vary. So for our shave today, we've got a, uh, cla a classic razor. A little more hollow iron here. A classic razor. It is a Jim Damaski uh, razor. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, the first pass is going to be with the grain. A little bit of skin, skin stretching here. And this is about a day's growth, maybe a day and a quarter, day and a half. It just kind of depends on uh, when we get around to doing the video. And these gem razors are a lot of fun to use. They're really nice. I like them a lot. It may not be as quite as aggressive as a you know micromatic or something like that, but in the right hands, if you know what you're doing, yeah, you can still get a very good shave out of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Still fighting a little bit of a cold, I apologize, guys. So down here on the neck, kind of go at a bunch of different angles. It's just kind of how my hair grows there, so. Just making sure my handle stays tightened. First pass, not bad, not bad at all. Miss a little bit right here. Let me come back and get in it. There we go. So cool thing is, uh, I found this razor actually in a little antique store, store in a little bitty town called Navasota, Texas. Got on my lunch break one day, <coughs> walking around just trying to, you know. Uh, not be uh, not be so stressed at work and took a little walk and <coughs> walked into an antique shop, saw that they were going out of business, and asked if they had any razors. You know, looking for just the uh, regular double edged stuff. And I said, Yeah, I do. And they're right here in this case. Put them out, handed them to me. Uh, one, of my, one of them was my valet razor that you guys have seen before. Uh, <coughs> other one was this gym. Both have been outstanding shapers. The gentleman said they've been sitting there for three or four years that uh, nobody had ever come in and asked him about them. He was going to throw them away. But of course, you know, him being a businessman, as soon as somebody wanted them, he wanted to charge money for them. So he charged me 10 bucks. I bought both of them for $5. Which, to be honest with you, I can't fault the guy on. I probably would have done the same thing. So I was happy he accepted my offer. Great razors. How do you guys build lather? Am I the only one that starts on this one cheek, gets it good, and then goes across to the other one? How do you guys do it? I'd like to hear uh, how y'all do it. be interesting to see what all the different uh, ways of doing it are. Fuzzy from over at uh, Shaving with Fuzzy will appreciate this video, especially the Williams. Don't worry, Fuzzy. I promise. It's not molested. So no bricks this time, all right? If you all don't know what we're referring to, just uh, head on over to the Original Safety 2 and uh, check it out there. You'll, you'll understand. All right, second pass is going to be across the growth here. 
or at least a modified across the group. Guys, I do apologize about all the coughing. I'm sorry about that, but it just can't be helped. go. Second pass in the books. I'm going to have to reload because I didn't load enough, but that's okay. That's one of those uh, Calvin Ball rules, and we play by Calvin Ball rules around here. So, again, if you don't know what that is, check out some videos with uh, from uh, Shaving the Fuzzy, and I'll explain it all to you. So we're going to invoke a Calvin Ball rule tonight, we're going to reload a brush. Shape feel is still amazing as before. Nothing different. Um, it's still great. You guys got anything big planned for this weekend? I'm not doing anything other than staying at the house on Sunday, maybe get up, go to church, and then uh, come back home and watch some baseball. I love watching baseball, so I'm excited to be able to do that. Excited for that. That'll be that'll be fun. There we go. All right. We're actually going to do four passes tonight. One of them's going to be a touch up, so I don't know if that counts or not. But Calvin Ball rules say it does. It doesn't, so we're going to stick with that. Third pass can be across the growth here. You know, once you get to a certain proficiency level, yeah. you notice a lot of people say that I take long strokes and that I go really fast. <coughs> Excuse me again. You know, maybe I do, maybe I don't. It's just, it's comfortable. I know what I'm doing. I know what to expect. I know what to feel. I know if something feels different. If something feels different, I know to stop. Something feels right. I, I know what that feels like. So the more experience you get, the faster your shades will go as well. Now, if I wasn't talking to hear myself talk, this would probably go a lot faster too. But that's beside the point. You guys see this well enough?
All right, last pass. This will be a final touch-up pass for the day. A little bit more water on the brush. There we go. So I don't know, maybe I am doing four passes tonight. Well, that's all right. We'll just do both Calvin ball rolls and be done with it. Some people say the sound of that. People say the sound of the razor to them is uh, scary. I like it. I like a little bit of sound. It lets me know what I'm doing. It lets me know it's, it's working. pass on the neck and then we'll, we'll call it a day. How about that, guys? I'm sure this video has probably gone longer than anybody wants it to go. And if you're sticking around, first of all, thank you. And second of all, why? Uh, no, seriously, though, I do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. It makes you guys feel humbled to know that people care about his shave routine, his shave pattern. And hopefully you learned something, too. I doubt it, but there's always hope. Now, if this was the Micromatic, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do it for a uh, pass like this. Skin feels good. This is about as smooth as it's going to get. Touch up underneath the nose, touch a little bit here. More right there. Keep that head tightened down if I can here. There we go.
All we're going to do tonight is going to finish up with some witch hazel, and we'll be done with this shave. So I hope you guys have stuck around. I've enjoyed it. I hope you guys have too. Hope you guys have a great week, uh, great shaves, and again, if you guys like these kind of razors, this kind of shaving, head on over to the forum, www.theoriginalsafety2, that's two, like number two, dot com. Not spelled out T-W-O, but the actual number two, dot com. Uh, check them out, give them a shot, stop in, tell us what you think. We look forward to seeing you guys, and again, hope you all have great shaves. We'll talk to you all real, real soon.